Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, Mr. Neo the Don want to come to y'all just uh, talk about some things that I heard um, as far as you know my brother in Christ, which is uh, Chris Brown. You know, uh, heard that that some good things are happening for him. Really, a lot of bad things are happening for him, but I heard something good. You know, as far as him being robbed, he's been been being robbed and. You know, uh, by people supposed to be, I guess supposed to be cool with them or something. Sound like you know what I'm saying, but whatever happened, you know what I'm saying. I don't know, but uh, you know, I know that uh, I know Chris. I, I always looked at him. You know what I'm saying. I knew when Chris Brown was like 15. I didn't know him personally, of course. You know, I was actually a, 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 a respecter of his music and stuff. Because when he came out, you know what I'm saying, he was going hard. You know what I mean, like for real, like in the R&B scene. You know, Chris Brown had some great music. He had some great music, and he still has great music. He's a great talent, man, and I uh, really like his music. Uh, you know, but he had the, the tattoo of Jesus on his on his shoulder. You know, he got all them tattoos everywhere now, you know, covering it up, so you can't see it. But I remember when he was 15 years old, I remember seeing him, and, you know, he had, obviously he had faith at 15. He had faith in Jesus as his Lord and Savior. That's just my opinion. That's just what I saw. You know, no young man gonna go get a Jesus. The only tattoo he had looked like his first tattoo of Jesus. You know what I'm saying on his shoulder. You know, uh, so that lets you know that he where he come from, where his where you know where his foundation is. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't getting nothing tatted on me unless it's real deal. What I mean, what what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I got one tat. You know what I'm saying? I got one tat, and I got it when I was 18. Shit, I'm about to be 30 next month. Faith, you know what I'm saying? Chinese, they always ask, why well, niggas get always get them Chinese letters? He can't read no damn Chinese. Shit, it just look, it looked tight anyway, you know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to mean faith. You know, uh Asian person told me it's supposed to mean teacher and stuff like that too. So that's interesting. You know, I'm a teacher. You know, I'm a prophet, a teacher and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's a good word. So yeah, man. So I know that Chris Brown been down. You know what I'm saying. I just know, you know, that 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 showbiz life. But uh, my point is, uh, is that uh, my cousin, he was talking to me. You know what I'm saying. Uh, my cousin, Silly Cell, uh, he was talking to me, and uh, we was just talking about, you know, about Chris Brown, and you know, he was, and, and we had been talking about, you know, how to. You know, we like rap, you know, we like rap a lot. I told him I like rap a lot, you know what I'm saying? I love, you know, rapping and stuff, you know, I wanna go go hard with it, you know, but it just like it seems it seems kinda to really make it, you know what I'm saying? It seems kinda devilish. You know what I'm saying, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Or just like the bad stigma that come with it, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't it can't just be an art form sometimes. It's like you gotta actually you know what I'm saying? You can't just write, paint stories, you know what I'm saying? They they take that literally as your life and all that all the time, you know? And, uh, you know, it's just a tough, tough genre to get into, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're going to rap, you know, but it's cool. Yeah, but it's a tough genre to get into, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, being successful, uh, you know, in the industry, like I say, man, it seemed like it comes at, you know, a lot of people hating on you and, you know, it's just a lot to deal with, you know what I mean? Like, and if you want to be the best, you know, you really gonna have everybody throwing shots at you. A lot, not everybody, because there's a lot of people that's cool, but it's gonna be a lot of people throwing shots at you. A lot of people coming after you and things like that, you know, trying to embarrass you and do all kinds of stuff, you know? So it's just a tough deal. So my cousin, you know, he was like, he said that uh, he was gonna do the rap. My cousin, you know, he very, uh, you know what I'm saying? Very uh, good rapper or whatever, you know? His whole crew, you know, good rappers and things like that. Uh, and they had really had some stuff going, but he was saying that he, he told his, you know, his, his friends, you know, that guy, the way he felt in his heart is that, you know, that he felt like he was rapping for the devil or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it was like, you know, that, that gangster, that was, it was that, it was that hood gangster, you know what I'm saying? Hood gangster music, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the music, like, <laughs> The elements of where we come from, basically, but you know what I'm saying, super rough, rough, rugged, rugged, rough and rugged, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, so that's what he was giving. But he felt, he said, he felt like it was like working for the devil, or you know, rapping for the devil. So he said he wasn't gonna keep going for it, cause you know, it seemed like people that that, in, that go for it, you know what I'm saying, it seemed like they ended up, you know, getting killed, or you know what I'm saying. Like I say, just a lot of problems, you know what I'm saying, from 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 the industry, you know, and. uh 
you know, sometimes it ain't just all about talent no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like who you connect with and, you know, and there's, there's a lot of evil people and evil demons, you know, possessing people, you know, trying to get at and trying to get at people that way. And, uh, you know, I know I have a, a, a connection with Chris Brown because I had a dream um, about him. Like, it was like right before, it was like probably two weeks before he went to, to jail, you know what I'm saying, for whatever he went to jail for. See, that's why I'm telling you, I don't be keeping up with him like that. But, you know what I'm saying, I hear little stuff here and there, you know, just to confirm my dreams. So, you know, I had the dream that he went to jail, you know, uh, in, in, in my dream, you know, but he hadn't went to jail yet. And then I heard like, I heard like maybe two weeks or a month later or something like that, that he had went to jail, you know, and did some time. And, uh, you know, just a little, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, so it's like the Lord, what I'm saying is the Lord, you know, of course he speaks through me. He gives me the vision. So uh, Chris Brown is a person's soul, I have to say. But what I'm asking y'all to do, you know, is to be prayer warriors, you know, and to pray for Chris Brown because, you know, uh, whatever's going on in his life, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it, it's happening for a reason. And then, you know, my cousin was telling me that, that Chris Brown said the same exact thing, used the same exact words that he used, you know, when he was saying, I don't want to be in the rap game. I can't do this. I can't pursue this like I, you know what I'm saying, like I want to. It's in my heart. I have the talent, but I can't do it because it's like for the devil. You know, he said that Chris Brown used those same exact words. And he was like, man, ain't that crazy? I was like, yeah, that's crazy, but that's real. You know what? That's real. Like, you know, and I told him I knew that Chris Brown was down. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I knew he was down from, from the get-go, you know, the down with Jesus. You know, because I'm like I say, man, nobody have no tattoo of Jesus in 15 years old. You know, had all tattoos to get. You know, that was showing his faith to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, man, just pray for him and, uh, you know, pray that he get get through this tough time of making a transition, um, you know, to live a godly life and, you know, to, to pursue his, his goals of going to heaven, you know, because I know that's where he wants to go. Who doesn't? Who doesn't that, that believes in Jesus? You know, that's where we want to go, and that's where we want to be. So, you know, just pray for Chris Brown, you know, and uh, and uh, he, he going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just wanted to holler at y'all. You know, like I say, the, the industry, it can be evil, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to use it. Don't let it use you. You know what I'm saying? But it can start out there. It's just a tough deal, man. You got to be careful who you fuck with, who you don't fuck with, you know? Like, it's for real. Like, you, yeah, it's a grimy, grimy game, you know? So, you know, that's why I be like, man, shoot. Is this really, is this really what, I, what I want? You know what I'm saying? I got the talent in rap. I got the talent in basketball. Major talent. Talent to where people going to want my talent. You know, they going to want to, you know, give me million, millions of dollars and things like that. That's, that's, how, that's how I feel. That's what I believe. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. That's what I know, you know? But, uh. But I, I, I'm i not going, like I say, not going to be working for the devil. You know what I'm saying? So it's just going to be all independent work. You know what I'm saying? For the Lord. You know, whatever I can do to save the masses, save the people in Jesus' name. You know, and uh, I'm praying for Chris Brown too because he's a person I saw in my dream. So he's a person soul I have to save. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy. He said that the Lord, he said God came to him and told him, you know, not to, I'm going to look at it and I'm going to go look it up, you know, and see if I can find the interview or find what Chris Brown is saying. Because, you know, I'm, every time my cousin tells me something, it's pretty accurate. He keeps his, his ear out to the street, you know, so he be letting me know stuff or whatever. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for Chris, Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? I know that he, that he going he gonna, to, you know, be strong and, you know, I pray that, that he go on the right path, you know, I know he, you know, it's rumored that he joined the gang and different things like that. You know, hey, everybody got their own prerogative, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, shoot, man, just just stick to the roots, bro. Stick to the roots. I ask for the Lord to protect Chris Brown in Jesus' name through the Father, through Jesus, in Jesus' name. Protect him, cover him, save him, clear his mind in Jesus' name. Give him the right thoughts in Jesus' name. Give him the right mind frame, mind frame in Jesus' name. Give him the strength to overcome those industry demons 
anyone who wishing harm against him, I pray that you, in Jesus' name, that you cover him, protect him in Jesus' name. And I pray that you that you lead him to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, to be a strong witness for you. You know, maybe sing some gospel, you know what I'm saying, eventually. Um, you know, singing for the Lord, using that great talent, you know, for the Lord. You know, it's, it's ways to do things, but... Uh, and, and I mean, look at me. I mean, I ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying to be, we not, nobody's perfect. You know, be yourself, but just let the world see that change. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you, when this change, you start to embark on.